Erosion is a big thing in our country here. It was just a straight wall, just a, a, like a gully type thing, and the water that come from this big ridge here come down here at a belt in the, in the wet times and run into this breakaway and it just cut the erosions out everywhere. The, all the soil here, once it gets wet, it just falls away from the, the sand and away it goes. Well, the soil couldn't take the, the amount of water that was flowing out of this dam and it become a hell of a problem. I had a bit of a go at it myself with a, with a rock wall across there to try and st or steady it down. It worked, but then we got Cyclone Debbie and it took the rocks with it as it went. original bywash here was way too narrow. As soon as you have narrow bywashes, they're always going to be prone to erosion because you've still got to push the same amount of water through that narrow bywash. The only way that that water will go through it is at high velocity. High velocity water on sodic soils, once again, is like a hot knife through butter. So you'll end up almost in the first runoff event with a gully starting in a bywash. That's sort of what, what it was until I met up with in cute tropics. Bobby Shepherd come out here with Roger and a few of the other girls and we had a look around and, and Bob took me for a walk around there and told us what we should do. So when I did the design on this, uh, I knew it was gonna be a lot wider. It's probably ended up wider than what I designed, but I'm happy with that because the wider it is, the shallower the water flows, the slower it flows. It's got filter fabric underneath it. The fact that it's got two gabion basket sections across it, one at the top, one at the bottom. The rock size, some of them are too large, but I'd rather have them too large than too small. But you can see it's a real mixture of rock sizes, and that's important. By having a range of rock sizes like this, it will settle into shape, and the smaller rocks will fill those big voids between the large rocks. It will lock in, and it'll be, it should remain quite stable. The other thing I do when I design these and it's a bit of a safety measure is I ignore the dam. So I, I treat it as if the dam is not there at all. In other words, the runoff comes out of the catchment, it comes down the gully and straight into the bywash. And the advantage of doing that is because we actually have a dam in place, it, it creates what we call a detention storage. So the dam has got to fill to, to, to the bywash level before it starts to bywash. In addition, before we get any depth of water going through the bywash, it's got to fill that whole storage area of the dam. So it takes the peak off the flood. We all know what we want, I guess, around the property once you've been around a few years, but Bob knew how to go about it. He could tell you what to do with that bit of dirt and put it over here that, that made it easy for, the, for us to do. Once Bob explained to us that we, what we needed here was to take topsoil off and then take it down to that level, right through to there, uh, it was a pretty simple thing to do. We, we just went ahead and done it. I've never really done this type of work before. I've done contour banks, diversion walls, but not, not with the, this particular type of stuff, but the gabion baskets and these designs. The probably number one priority is when you do these jobs, is not to push all your topsoil into the bottom of the holes. And I think that was a big problem with previous jobs, Stan, eh? We never ever used to stockpile our topsoils. I did it for years, to be honest with you. Just pushed everything in front of me, the hoses. It really helped. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have done that sort of thing on my own. 